Okie dokie. Time for playing. Those are the sounds of me plugging my mouse in. It will out and then in. I have this really cool mouse that you. This. I have this really cool mouse that's wireless. You can charge it with this uh, Type C charging cable. Let me get inside so you can hear it. Uh, it, it uses a um, Type C charging cable. Uh, and you can charge it. And then you can plug it into this little. Uh, thing that acts as a Lego wireless connector and that connector just allows your wireless to be wireless so I have my uh, thing it's connected to my computer the charger and then if I put it in my mouse then it charges it but also it's as a, as a wired connector and if I don't put it in then I can put it in a little box and then the box any charger is this away and then that just works wirelessly it's I know you saw me... Let me work that better. If you saw the end of the last video, you see that I made this... This upper statue. shivers down my spine but it's quite fine did it in the spur of the moment and I quite like it I thought that you know this wouldn't mean something golden apples of, of strength, a strong core of block of copper, and gets out to the side, like all this, and then an eye to represent how it's all seen. It just made a god, made a religion, because I was bored. Scared or both. Well, the problem with these villagers is that is that they really, really like having children. Which is a bummer because I kind of need them to have children. And I still haven't looked up a proper breeding farm either. That's just, I keep disappointing myself every day. But what's new? <clears throat> I think... Yeah. I'm gonna put these frame blocks in such a way for metal, the copper and stuff too. I'm gonna grab dirt and I'm gonna go take down the rest of the houses. I genuinely think we don't need them. These are from the farthest ones. I remember. What little I can remember from like sorry, I'm having those like 
I'm having the types of burps that don't make sound at all. Barely any notice that they exist, that they're there, but go the way they're there. They're annoying. I don't like them. Uh, I remember we did some exploring and looting last year. It was nice. I think that's what I remember. I remember it being nice. Diamond stuff until those villagers make children and get me some new, uh, yeah, sure, slates. Uh, some new trade slates. So I'm just gonna have to wait until they have children. And I can use their children. To trade for enchanted diamond stuff. I should probably make some sort of cooked food farm because cooked food gives way better overall hunger but also saturation. It's like compacting your food but also more saturation per item is really really useful. If we're talking about food and saving space and time. I like not having to worry about my tombs breaking. Except for my axe, but you know, that's... You want to it down. I think that I don't have to worry about my cool Paxo multi-tool thing breaking. Because I have so, so much iron that the only resource that I'm really losing is sticks. And I feel like really anyone, like even if you've never played Minecraft, if you've seen Minecraft, you know that sticks are not a rare resource at all. Unless you're doing some sort of challenge. So, yeah, I like reaching a point like this in games where I have renewable resources. I hoard all unrenewable resources, especially those that are not renewable at all in the game. I think some games have resources that are renewable, but through a very long process, or a process that you get down the line, something like that. But, sometimes, you just can't get that resource infinitely. And sometimes, there's very little of that resource already. Of course, in Minecraft, there's very few resources that are like that, that you can't renew, or that there is so little of, but it does happen. I want, I want to complete that. Can I rotate that? Afterwards, can I rotate? Am I able to rotate? So that's like looking down. Surely I have to be able to do that. 
Because I want this guy to look like he's looking down. Down at us. Useless beings. This, like that. Oh, perfect. And just grab block of paper. Nope, block. Of paper. Oh, yeah, I got bees. There we go. Now it looks like he's looking down at us. As the god does. Ooh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, dokey. Now let me actually make my cool Paxel think again. If yes, I can. Un segundo, por favor. Baxel! Baxelius! From piercing pack souls. I know they got upgrades for these things. Netherite pack soul upgrade kit? No. 3x3 ability? No. Tunnel ability? No. Hole ability? No. Arms melt? No. Silence? No. Vacuum? No. Restoration? Unbreakability? God damn. Okay, so restoration, I'm assuming that's either mending or like passive durability regen. Like over time it regenerates or something. God, these guys just don't have children, do they? God. What was I doing? I was taking down buildings. Any others here? Nope. Da bing da da boom ba da bing dan dong ka da bing da da boom ka da bing dan boom. I didn't want to do that, but fine. Boom! Just like that. No idea that anything was ever even there. As soon as the grass, you know, does its thing. Bada boo. Ding dong dong ding dong. Boom. El boom. I really don't like the sounds that I'm hearing. They don't sound nice at all. Yeah, they sound very horror gamey. Gonna pick everything up, then snooze. Was. Oh yeah, that's definitely the sound of something that wants to eat my face and or butt. And one of those I did not consent to. It's the latter one. I know there's a gigantic possibility that someone on the internet doesn't mean the latter one and instead means the former one, but no. I genuinely don't like that type of stuff. Orky dorky! Orky dorky! Grigor! El Streber. What the fuck is this? Okay, how about doing this one? I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. Perfect. Uh, 
I like that better. There we go. I really do like this mod pack because it's a very chill mod pack. Okay, um, I know I'm probably going to take this down later, but for the sake of my own sanity, I need to fill this in. Also, I've noticed my videos, my mods have been getting a good, like, 20 views. Which is absolutely mind-blowing. That many have just watched my VODs. You might be seeing this right now, that's meta. Uh, but uh, I've noticed that I I've put out five VODs. Three of them had Minecraft in the title. And two of them did not. The two that did not have Minecraft in the title had like f three to five views. The ones with Minecraft in them had at least 20. So that's the re that's also the reason for the title of this one, the stream and the video, because I, I just cycled the name. Why should I change it? And that's why the title, ow, is what it is if I put Minecraft in the title dot 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 with proper capitalization and spacing and grammar because I'm wondering if I just put Minecraft in the title and that that's the title of my video is that going to affect how many people see it are people searching for stuff like Minecraft and then that's how they find me or have found me. Because I don't know how to YouTube. I don't know how to Twitch. I don't know how to do Jack Diddley. I just know how to play a game in a... in my way. I know nothing else. I don't know anything about content publishing. I can I can make content. That's what I do. That's what I'm doing here on Twitch. And what I'm posting on to YouTube, but I'm not like I, I, you can tell by the lack of quality in my my, my setup my performance game on PC that yeah I'm, I'm not all that and then some. No, I'm just, just a guy. A guy. We just has this stuff to fucking record his record and capture his screen. I can do that, and I do it, and you know I'm able to create an account on platforms which allow me to stream and post videos. Nothing else. I have no training, no editing at all. I, there's nothing. So, I don't even know what the original point of this spiel was, but like, damn. I am that under-skilled, under-developed, under everything. And like, 20 plus people watch some of those VODs. Voluntarily. 
I looked at the analytics on my most recent VOD, like a little bit later when it was at like 20 something views. 23 maybe? It like 0.7 hours watch time. Total. That is. so much. I just can't believe it. You know, there's no. Like, obviously, there's no streamer viewers. At least, I don't think so. Nobody's writing in the chat. You can climb these. Oh, you can climb these. That's awesome. I should not have done that. I mean... I just... Like, already people watch the VODs? That's crazy. But... I can't tell if anybody's watching the streams. Nobody sends messages or leaves comments or chats. Whatever you want to call it, really. So... That's, that's just... Fucking crazy. What's even crazier is that these folks just don't want children. You... You... I don't want to say anything bad, really, but... Like, holy jeez! There we go! There we go! Come on, child! Show me a small bastard! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! No, 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 you! Okay. Let's try this again. Come on, Jackie. Okay. What if I don't look? What if I just don't look? Mind my business? Mind my own business, just... Arm and carrots. la dee da da dee da I ain't, I ain't looking Wait on the water Whoa Actual chatters I, I'm doing good Thanks I mean you could be bots but That's two, two, that's two messages and two people That's three messages in total Holy I don't think I've had an actual. You're res you're responding real time. You're an actual person. Goddamn. Oh boy. Legit viewer. First two viewers. The milestone achieved. I mean, hell yeah, celebration. No need to do that, but eh, screw it, I got real viewers. God damn. I don't know what you're doing here. There's like thousands of other content creators that make better stuff than me. You got time to reconsider. I I won't I won't think any less of you. That's already five messages in the chat from real people. I think I could retire a happy man. I haven't made a dime. And I already know, yeah, I'm content. I gotta feed these cows. They're like, goddamn. Real viewers. Already, I kinda expected it to take longer than this, too. Real people voluntarily watching my stuff? That's not something I expected to happen this soon. Thought for sure it'd be, uh... I'd say that's debatable. I don't know. I don't have any metrics to... To really compare it. 
the quality of my mic, the quality of the game, you can see that obviously this is not... This is obviously not primo territory. Alright, thanks man. It's too real to I mean, obviously, thanks for the compliments. I, I don't mean to downgrade it at all, that's awesome. And first stream you're watching, hey, hi, thanks. I don't know, I'm just trying to be humble here. I haven't really done much, I got... I got a deity, I got a, I got a statue, all hail. I'm trying to get these two bastards to make a small bastard. They just won't do it. I've given them... Like... Three stacks of carrots. I think one of them has to be infertile in some way because they just don't want children like I don't even know how caught up you are there could be some ultra fans that have watched every VOD but you most likely aren't you just watching a stream because I live in a village I got some mods quality of life but nothing big Now farms, sugarcane, carrots, lava farm, and iron farm. He's what he needs. I'm I'm very successful. I have riches beyond compare. I gotta show you just what moolah this iron farm has earned me. These are blocks of iron right here. Plus, whatever he's here. Yeah, all, all this iron. Let me make it into full stacks. Just get these out right now. I can properly show you. Boom. All this iron and then some. That is the money I got. As you can tell, very many. I gotta make iron blocks with this. I got stacks of iron blocks. From one farm. Just one farm and waiting a whole lot. I got all this. Which is... I do hope the audio is fine, because I haven't had real people to give feedback or talk. I don't know whose audio needs to be higher or lower. The game needs to be higher or lower. Me higher or lower. No idea. I gotta put my riches back in my riches chest. Oh yeah, just, you know, little flex on you, nothing big. This used to be a pretty okay village. It was about... Yeah, you can even see the tracks here. There was like a house here, two over here, a few here, some over here. I just took them all down because they were kind of in the way. And now I really... Actually, I don't need that one either. But I don't have dirt. Ow. I've, ooh, I got uh, a map mod installed so you can see just where I've been. Somewhere here is the spawn. Uh, I'd say it's on this part right here. Maybe around, I don't know, somewhere around this area is the spawn. Then I went down here, got this. Then uh, traveled here, got huge lot of iron from here and coal. This is like a weird little. This is like a tiny village with tall buildings. 
It's from the Towns and Villages mod, I think. Uh, then another room portal. This is a pillager place. Ran away from that real quick. Uh, then I went here, got even more iron and coal. Then I found this place and set up shop. I went like somewhere here, turned up render distance all the way up. This is everything I got down here too. Haven't really been here. I should go raid that place sometime. That was a jump scare. Oh yeah, here's my massive dirt cave. This is where I get all my dirt. If I ever need dirt, this is where I come to. I just start mining. The vein mine, ultimine. The mod I'm using for this is called FTB Ultimine. You can see at the top left. And the maximum amount of blocks it lets you break is 64 at a time. I'm sure you can change that in configuration files. So I can just take out my hand, hold the button down, break a block, and then I get a stack of dirt. Look how much I got. Boat loads. Let's you. Also have a Paxel mod. You can see that here. I have a framed blocks mod because I thought it would be fun for decoration. I have a cosmetic armor mod. That's why it looks like leather armor, but really I have iron. This is just cosmetic. Uh, Paxels they do have upgrades, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. I have sound mods, as you heard there, and when I play blocks, sometimes they have different sounds. Got those counted. So, I also have a uh, light based. Uh, I don't know if it's three textures. Light based mods, they just change lighting and how it works. So, stuff like torches when like held or dropped but also like you can see how that lights up by itself I hope but also enchanted stuff which was cool to find out if you have enchanted armor or are holding anything enchanted then it gives off a slight glow which is fucking fresh probably have turned them down a long time ago. I think that's better. This is the crib. This is where villagers would be if they made any. I like covering it up with this dirt just for no reason. Right now the goal is to get them to breed and make a child, then get the child to be an armor no, one of the smiths, because they take like six iron for an emerald, and because I have infinite iron, I can just do those trades a lot, get tons of emeralds, and then get infinite diamond gear from them, and just be swimming in great gear. But for now, I don't know what to do, because I'm just running around, feeding cows every now and then, giving them carrots when enough come from there, just not really doing anything fun. <laughs> Because I don't know what's fun. I don't know what people want to see. I have no idea. 
then again, I don't know if you're even here. I don't have some sort of counter. I don't think. Yeah, I don't have any sort of thing to tell me how many people are here. You could have left, like, as soon as you left the last message, I would have no idea. These are my riches. But also, you get to be famous to, like, 20 other people. Because I post this... I post these? I post the streams as VODs. Ooh! Ooh, it's the little goblin guy! That's also another... Uh... That guy right there. I don't have anything to give him, damn it. Okay. That little goblin guy is another... Funky Fresh mod. One that I really do like. It just adds those little funky goblin traders for overworld and nether. And they give really good trades. Basically, they, for example, they could take copper ore or iron ore and just turn it for absolutely free, turn it into two ingots of that type. They just smelt it for you for free and give you an extra one on the house. They also give you an emerald for every half stack of cobblestone. They give you an emerald for like six apples. If you have an item that's enchanted, let's say you have an axe with efficiency five, the max efficiency, but you give them an efficiency five enchanting book and that axe, then they put those together and you get an efficiency six axe. They're really useful like that, and all they do, they're passive, and you don't need to pay anything to trade with them. You just get that ability, they spawn in dark caves every now and then. Very chill guys. You can't keep them around like normal villagers, but it's that makes it fair, because being able to give them half a stack of cobblestone and get, a, get an emerald is just strong the point where I completely understand why you can't trap those little guys. Oh yeah, the bed. This bed I'm using is from the comforts mod, which just adds hammocks and sleeping bags. And a sleeping bag is this. You can sleep in it, but it does not set your spawn point. And all it is, is a bed without the wood. Three wool in a line. But that's what I mean by quality of life mods. These aren't game-changing mods. These are just mods that make gaming a little bit more fun, or a little easier. But don't make it too easy. Don't make it too new. That's why I was... Ooh, whoa. That's why I was having a hard time contemplating whether or not I should install the easy villagers mod because being able to pick up villagers is an extremely useful mod to have because they are annoying but then again would that be cheaty I did not know and I thought well you can make auto traders and readers and incubators and stuff like that which just feels a little too much like cheating. So I decided to go against it and not download it. I don't have really complicated mods. All these mods you could just find on your own. But if you're really interested in this specific mod pack and this specific world, then yeah, sure. I can give you the sauce, I can give you the deets. But I'm not sure. Uh, whoa! That was a lag spike. I don't like those. Because my computer isn't the best. I mean, it can, it can run games. Like, you can run GTA 5 on here with normal graphics. Ah or something like that, and it won't be that laggy, but in no way is it like those top tier things. 
I just keep yapping, don't I? That's why I didn't want to do YouTube specifically. Because I did do it for a period of time. But I quickly left it behind. Because that requires editing and editing skills. Neither of which I have. Or at the time four, I'm just not able to do it. And even then, my videos wouldn't be that good because the problem would be that I have a video that's about an hour long. That's a very long time for a video, and most people don't want to watch a video that's that long. So, what I would want to do is make cuts out the boring parts but then what does someone consider a boring part what do they want to see so when I was creating videos I stuck by no cuts I would never make any cuts at all so you could see what I was doing but that meant that for an hour you were watching me do the exact same thing and for YouTube it's not fun it's not fun for years of YouTube just not So, I was creating videos that were way too long to want to watch. I was getting tired, and I did not have the energy nor the time to edit. No way. So, I was at a standstill. What should I do? I keep yip yapping. I can't tone it down. If I try and cut out the few silences I do have, that's so many cuts and so many edits. You could never properly do it and I didn't know what to do then I thought well I've seen streamers do it for like a long long time long periods of time at a time just streamers make multi-hour streams so what if I do that I'm good at it I'm good at talking at least I hope I am I'm able to make words so maybe streaming will be fine so I, I, I started it I've missed a few days but mainly I've done daily streams this is stream number six all Minecraft I, I don't really have another game that I'm sure that people will watch and enjoy oh that is cool cave generation I found this sort of water generation strange. And the new Minecraft updates where generation makes just these weird pouches of water. They seem super weird to me. Let me check something. I want to see... Oh! Oh! I can see how many users I have watching me. That's neat. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's neat. That's neat. I don't have a separate window for it. That's why I tabbed out. I had to look separately. But I think there are multiple people watching me. Which is neat. I didn't even notice that. I just kept talking but I do that anyways because I know that I post VODs so someone is going to watch it at some point a bit of it and they're just not gonna enjoy silence so I'm gonna talk like there's people here I'm gonna talk to myself I'm adept at that I love talking to myself not in the way that I do it consciously I Meaning the way that, for some ungodly reason, my number one hobby is conversing with myself. Which I guess is pathetic. But, one, I'm not sure. And two, I don't really care if it's pathetic. A 
frogs. I haven't actually been in a forest like this. Oh, mm, that's nice on the feet. Ooh, hear that mud? Mm -hmm. I bet that's nice to fall into feet first. Actually, it would be. If it's mud, then it's got a little bit of give. It's gonna hurt less than if you drop on, like, solid dirt or grass. Or on strong roots or wood. Or just straight up on cobblestone or stone or any type of rock. I mean, sure, it's not falling in water or on soft leaves, but... At least it's not cement. No, that's a bonus. Most unnecessary attempt at punch. I don't know why so many people are watching though. Because I looked, there were like seven people, maybe more. I'm not sure. I, I really need to get some sort of viewer counter. All right, let let's do the trick again. Let's let's do it. We're gonna do a funky trick where I turn my render distance up all the way, and then I become the world's greatest explorer just by standing still, which gives me time. Wow, yeah, that's so many people. Sorry, I, I just saw that it was paused. That's a whole lot of people watching. Unless I'm looking at it wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's like 10 people here. I don't really know if I can look at it any other way. I'm using OBS. I've got a place for stream information where I can change the stream information. And then a chat box. And I can check the users in that chat box, which I'm assuming is the people watching. But I don't know. And even then, I can't have both open. I don't think. I'm going to try it, though, eventually. After this, I'm going to see if I can have both open. Maybe in chat settings. Uh... No, 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 don't, don't pause chat. Sh uh, chat appearance? Whoa. I, I don't, I have no idea. I'm just looking through the... View recent raids? There's no raids. I can guarantee you, you have no recent raids, told you. This is... I, I don't know, I don't know. But I, I can see a whole lot of people. I'm gonna stop leaving the game paused. That is not fun for you watching. I'm sorry. But we did a whole lot of exploring, quote unquote, and found a whole lot of nothing. Did find water. I... Th no, that's not a kelp zone. Or a coral zone. Lukewarm ocean. That might be something. That. I don't know. I don't think so. That's probably something. That's probably wood sticking out. Ooh. Sorry. Uh, yes. I don't think there's anything. A beach is not going to be very good. This swamp is massive. It's bigger than the jungle. Actually, no, it's not. It's as big as the jungle. That is... an extremely large jungle. I can tell you that much. I did not know that biomes were so huge. Oh, I don't have space for exploring. I gotta go back home. And home is a thousand two hundred blocks away. Oh, this is where I'm definitely losing viewers. 
No one's gonna wanna sit around here looking at me run home for a thousand two hundred bucks. I know I can talk a whole lot, but I can't talk fun stuff. Then again, why are like ten people here if I can't talk fun stuff? Unless it's not ten people. Again, I have no idea. I'm gonna have to check analytics. Because for I this could be, for some reason, a successful stream, a viral stream, a stream of quality, something like that. In which case, you're absolutely welcome to watch again. I try streaming every day, and I try streaming at about the same time. It's going to be between my time 5 and my time 7-ish. That's when I start streaming. I can tell you what time it is right now for reference. If you want. I mean, nobody's talking in chat. People are just listening and or watching. Or not. Maybe this is background noise or bots. No idea. Uh, for me, it is 7 exactly. And by exactly, I mean 7.32, as I said that. 32 seconds, not minutes. It is 19... So, 7 p.m. With 0 minutes and 32 seconds when I said the time for me. So, you know, translate that into your time. And then consider that I start streaming plus minus one hour from that time. That's when I start streaming. And I try keeping the streams at least an hour long. So, if there is somebody that wants to join in on my streams voluntarily for more than once in a row, then they have time to do so. But also because a 30-minute stream doesn't seem as fun or as normal as a one-hour stream. I could keep going make it last longer, but I feel like that would ruin the VOD, and it might also just ruin the experience of watching stream. I can't tell. I do wonder if those are actual users, actual viewers. If you can even understand me, you could just be someone that doesn't speak English, doesn't understand a lick of English. But hey, Minecraft, some idiot's talking, so why not, I suppose, why not watch it, I mean, yapping about something. But again, I, I don't know if that's the actual viewers. I'm unsure. I don't know if it's morally correct. I don't know if it'd be more. I don't know if it's fair to ask just really anyone to come in anything right about now to just see if I'm understanding the tabs correctly. I mainly just want you to comment, chat, talk by your own volition. You're not forced to do anything because you shouldn't be forced to do anything. Being forced to do something is illegal. Last time I heard. And I don't like it when something illegal is happening to people that I consider viewers of my content. It's just a personal pet peeve. Being forced into something doesn't sound all too fun. Also, this is a terrible story system. Rocky Dorky. Just put this stuff away. I do not need it at all. And then I will. Oh, the statue is starting to deteriorate. That's awesome. I really do love that. Just slow deterioration. 
I could probably... Yeah, I can scrape it off. I don't... I, I don't know why I did that. I want it to... Oh, perfect amount. I want it to... Weather and turn into an old... Rusted... Oxidized thing. It's not gonna look good by any means, but... Well, no, it is. That, that's the point. I think it's gonna look good as a statue, a totem, if it's weathered. All hail statue. But I'm going to feed these guys again. And I'm going to hope... That they've grown a brain. And they're going to have a child to be productive. You have beds to do so. Sometimes. You have everything you could want. Everything you could need. In a cramped space. What more do you want? Have children. Throw some carrots in each other and have children. Please. What do you want from me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. No looking. No looking. Everyone that's watching the stream, what are you doing watching a stream? How, how dare you? You dare look at this. Do not. Not, not, a, not a word. Not a peep. And not a single look. God damn it. Who looked? Raise your hand. Who the who the hell looked? Who thought it was time to look at a stream? How dare you? That is so rude. I'm going to report you to the authorities. Ooh, I'm the authorities. why I'm not hitting them with fully charged hits is because I don't want them to hit me with the spit because that's just wasting their ability and if I hit them then they go into a running frenzy for a bit they only Wait, can I no I can't they only spit at you if you attack anything or anyone that they like not necessarily they just get scared if you hit them specifically so I have to hit them once and then they get scared and don't want to spit at me they want to run around and away if they could just have ch if they could just have any offspring that would be great. Oh, decision time. I explored this entire area, and I could go here. I don't know what that all is. Maybe mushrooms. I could go here, explore this. That is a jungle and a dark oak shipwreck put together, which is neat and buried. Uh, I could go check those out. I could explore down here, further down. That might be a temple. I could go look at that. I could see what's off over here. I could explore this area to the right. Or up here. I don't know what to do. Technically, if I don't want to go far... I should go up here, finish off the map in the top section, but if I want loot, then I can go here, but then again, temples don't have that good loot, don't they? Like, they have okay loot, but for the stage map now, I'm pretty sure they have bad loot. 
decision, decision. Well, I'm gonna make the guess that the water just goes here. There's not really land here. Because I can see here it's a beach. Like these are beaches. They appear at the edge of oceans. So I'm assuming that like the water goes around here somewhere and there's not really anything to explore. Maybe it continues here, but very thin. And I don't want to go through a thin area. I do want to explore here. It's mainly going to be jungle. Over here, the savanna could end. There's jungle and forest possibilities. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go off to the near east and see what is going on in the east. Explore some more. Of course, you're welcome to object at any time. Because you, you don't have much contest. Com competition. Just, just if one viewer comes literally anything else, any direction, then I'm going to take that instead of my own advice. Because I'm pretty bored, and my own decisions aren't good decisions. I just make them because there's no one else making decisions. I mean, you could entirely uh, change the stream series if you want to call it that you could entirely change the series and the direction it's heading just by leaving a couple messages and everything's gonna change forever because you these viewers are so far and few few and far between far and few between whatever the saying is that I've forgotten something and something between that a viewer that talks you can look in the chat there's two people who have talked and those two people are to my knowledge the first ever actual viewers that aren't bots the first ever commenters who aren't bots those are real people and I'm pretty sure that I don't have 10-ish bots in my chat right now. See? Real-time response. Cool, I'm not a bot. Look at that. A bot would never say that. I'm fairly certain that robots can't say that. That is a real person right there. I might be talking to just you. But I'm assuming that there's not shut up that there's not yeah you're not about congratulations D can we get a yippee this guy isn't a bot that that's something to celebrate this is extraordinary news this is absolutely awesome now that's a celebration look at that go i want to see look at that man go but i don't know if you're a man so i just said look at that go I mean, hey, some of us, some of us are human and bots. The fact that you're not is already a milestone for some people. That's unfathomable for some. You have achieved what most Discord moderators cannot. You are living the dream. Look at you, just a happy guy. Wish you high in the head, head, high in the head. I make funny sounds when I do things. I also can't talk, which is strange. Mm. No, that's a short. Sure. Yeah, you totally. I mean, do can bots even die? Yes, they can. Everything can die. I'm thinking short-term die. Yes, bots can die. So, hey, you are gonna have a gravestone, probably. Think about that. Bots don't have gravestones. 
I mostly. You get a privilege. The unbot. You've left more messages here than I've made few streams. This is number six. You've left quite a few messages. You've actually talked, which is nice. I know that most people don't talk when they view things. I've gotten 25. Actually, it's nine. Nine messages or nine streams. Nine what? Ah, your message. Well, is that 10 or 11 messages now? Hmm. I think this is a never ending loop that you created. Or you were smart and prevented that loop in the first place. It's at least two. How about that? It's not wrong. Exactly. This is mathematics. This is big brain time. I know that people like me who have... Actually, I don't... I, I do like going on Twitch to uh, low viewer streamers. I like doing that. I like going to basically Minecraft because that's where most like new low viewer streamers are. I go there, I go by sort lowest to highest viewers and I just find someone. I just look at someone who has like no viewers. I go and I say hi. I start talking to them. I watch their stream. It's nice. Just getting to talk to someone who's who's humble, who has no views, but just does it. Yeah, you, you get it. Same. It's just nice because uh, those types of people, I found that they're always really nice and really humble. Obviously, big people are too. Markiplier is an example. But they're, they're just so personal because there's no one else talking really. There's no one else viewing their stream. You can just talk to them, see how they're doing. And it's like you have a friend who you don't know. Like you're friends, but then again, you don't know each other at all. Which I find nice that someone's put in about an equal amount of effort, if not more, to watching and viewing me. Yeah. I mean, you... XP.2 That's the best pronunciation you're gonna get out of me. You came here into a... low viewer having streamer with no quality, really. I don't have quality. Full honesty right there. This isn't a very high-end stream. But it's something. You can hear me talking and you can see me playing. Uh, good enough for some. And you're talking to me. You're sharing your experiences. You're listening to me. You're watching me play. You're tolerating all my talking, which is impressive. I would have thought you've gone mad by now. And that's just... Bizarre. I remember when I put my... First few videos on YouTube. As soon as it got like five views, I was ecstatic. I was like, wow! Who who clicked on that? How quickly did they click off? I didn't expect anyone to be talking to me this early in streaming, really. I got two bots. On my first stream, I got two bots that advertise some sort of uh, get famous quick sites. I don't know. Even then, it was like, wow. Even bots took their time to come here. I mean, their bots still felt. Whoa. Oh. Wow. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 19 creepers. I... What the hell? 
I think I wondered... No, I was gonna make a tasteless joke, but no. For the sake of keeping normal on Twitch. That is a gigantic amount of creepers. What convention would that be? Maybe a furry convention. I know there's the whole furries and pipe bombs in your mailbox thing joke. That's something. It could just be like... <laughs> creeper con I mean, that's one way to put it. Yeah, it could just be the creeper convention. I need to get close enough to render all of them in again. I mean, I don't want to... Oh, uh, you know what I bet? I bet it's the music video. You know the one music video uh, by Dan or something? Where it's just creepers singing and blowing up. I bet they're doing a live of that. Part 2 or part 3. I know there's an ending. Ending B. I wonder if there's like an entrance into there. Because I don't really have anything to lose. I'm gonna spawn back anyways. I'm not really gonna mind if I die here. Damn, I think they despawned. Aw, oh, man. But that that was an impressive amount of creepers. Still some left. I guess the convention ended. Damn. Over as soon as it happened. Real bummer. I would have loved to go there. Guy can't... Damn. Man can't have shit in Detroit. They took my convention. God damn. Oh boy, this is a lot of bamboo. It looks like you got space, but you don't. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Pandas. Hmm. Now, should I kill a panda? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Considering, considering. Yes, okay, you got it. You got it. Immediate. I was told to do something and I did it. Good soldiers follow orders. I am a simple soldier. Pillagers. That's what? What are you doing here? Wow, Twitch really does not like pandas. Ooh, I don't want to kill that guy. Go away, go away. I get it. That's this guy. I don't want to get raided. Oh no. Oh no. He's going to send his SWAT team. Uh, I don't know if Twitch is going to like you saying that. Then again, I think people have said worse before and survived. If you hear knocking, don't open the door. To friendly advice. Oh no! Ah, not that bad. But I mean, hey, there were two pandas. Two pandas can make a third panda. Yeah, I know. I, I know all about knocking on doors in the bad sense that you don't want to happen to you. I... I'm a video game tester. I do freelance video game testing. And a lot of video games... Like, they have the option that they'll get you to sign an NDA before you're allowed to test the game. Which means you can't say diddly about it. Very few times some developers have allowed us to talk about it. But almost every one of them has wanted an NDA. So I'm not allowed to talk about anything. And the running joke is that I'm an idiot. And I can keep my mouth shut. So I almost, but not fully, but almost slip on the NDA. And I always joke that I've had way too many knocks on my door and have way too few kneecaps. 
And it's funny, I mean, the game testing community is very nice. It's like you have a gigantic gamer friend group. Plus, I, I make I make okay money and... Like, pocket money. I, it's not a job, it's a gig. But the people are nice, I get to test games, and it's just fun seeing what's coming out, what I can do. It's overall nice. And then you get humor like that. And I just like it. it takes up very little time. I, we are in a bit of a drought right now, where I am. Because there's very few tests, if at all. There's been a few more than usual, but still very few tests. But that's probably because, like, a good bit of burnout from developers probably still recovering from something like the... like one of the gaming conventions or something, game jams probably. Um, it, like we got a whole bunch of tests then and good money too. But I feel like they just got burned out for a while or not much is happening. There are a few that are coming up but I can't say much because NDA I value my ability to walk. And that just... The heart attack central right there. I'm gonna get rid of you and take you home. You're gonna be an offering. Oh boy. But yeah, always treat any... Always treat any semi to entirely large organization or corporation as the Mafia, and you'll never have any trouble. As long as you know how to treat the Mafia. Not saying that Twitch is a Mafia, of course not, that, that would be heathenish talk. I shan't say such things. Oh, this is a church. I don't know. I mean, I'm not destroying the Bible, so they shouldn't mind. Plus, why should I have to... I'm not stealing from the church. I'm stealing the church. In fact, I consider this a crusade. I have a much better and uh, truer religion. See, my religion is real, whereas their god is fake and a liar, and they're heathens. It's not worse. It's better, I'm doing this for them. They need to find the right god in their hearts. I'm a... I'm a righteous individual. Nothing wrong with me, or my actions. Well, I'm not stealing the entire church. I'm just stealing everything that makes it a correct church and getting rid of all its identity and all its culture in an effort to cleanse out all of the religion that I don't agree with. That's perfectly fine. I think. I don't need one emerald. I have so many already. They still have those. Exactly, now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. See, it just took a little bit of convincing, a little bit of understanding, a little bit of threatening, and now you get it. Isn't it so simple? I love when people can just get along and understand each other. I really do hope I'm not talking way too much. You're welcome to- is that- oh, it's supposed to be like a butcher. You are entirely welcome to immediately say, hold up, stop, shut the fuck up, if you think I'm talking way too much. I don't have any way to- no, if 
I'm talking too much or too little. That is entirely yours to instruct me on because I don't know. I have to go with your input. Which is honestly the first... You are the first input on content creation as a whole that I've gotten. You and uh, Bella from earlier, you're the only people that have ever left any sort of helpful criticism. Your input is, I don't know, valuable. I mean, it don't, it don't seem like a lot to you. I mean, if you don't want to, that's fine. I'm not telling you. I'm saying that you're, com like, I encourage it. If you want to, then I want you to speak your mind, regardless of what you think the effects are. But you don't have to. That's something I've gathered from game testing, is that if you want feedback, then you want to make sure that, at least partly, you don't force an answer about something. You want people to experience everything, and then they give their own ideas and thoughts on it. I'm not going to force you to tell me what to do better, or what I'm doing wrong, because that's not how I would the proper way is. I've grown wise in my two years of... Which one required diamonds? You required diamonds. I've grown wise in my two-ish years of game testing. In more ways than one, it's helped me improve my vocabulary and my understanding of grammar. Which is impressive, because I had an incredible understanding of English, and I still do. Especially for someone of my origin, which is not from any English-speaking countries. We do not speak English over here. Not at all. Not even close. It's not even the same, like, root language. We got an entirely different origin. This is no Adam and Eve type thing. This is completely different. So the fact that I have a better grasp on English than uh, most Americans, most oblivious Americans, is kind of baffling. Even to tutors. Uh, but it's not too meant to brag. It's mean that even from that, I've grown a lot, even in terms of English. It's really helped, I think. And it's gotta be more social. I've become more social because of game testing. I'm still not social, but I'm more social. Because, I don't know, you have to talk to get some things, you know, clear some things up. If you have any sort of like questions about a test or something, you gotta ask. Because if you don't understand the test, then uh, it's going to be a problem for everyone. Not just you, but everyone else too. You got to talk and communicate. And while I'm still not good at that, and I don't like doing it, I am also at the same time talking to random people on the internet and streaming and posting bot videos, so I don't think I know how to take my own advice. Maybe. More of you. No. Yes. My decision is final. For now. So it's not final. I think I've talked way too much about every topic. And again, I don't know. Do you want to watch more or listen more? That's a good question to ask anyone. Actually, can you just help me real quick, uh, XP Dot? Can you tell me how many viewers does it say my stream has? Just right now, how many does it say it has? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah, that makes sense. Because I was thinking... Yeah, I, I do think it is. Because it says your name and then, like, nine other people. That is... Uh, that it does not make sense. I've almost... Like, for most of the other ones, I haven't even gotten one viewer. So the fact that I get two talking viewers... Well, I think... I think that was left now. Oh, you stream too. That's nice. Yeah, but... I mean, it might be a confidence booster at the same time. I mean, if you think about it, it's like, oh wow, I have more viewers to talk to, but... Then again, it's not. Yeah. It also depends how you look at it. You, you could just look at it, hey, OBS is lying to me. You could. But you also gotta take into account that maybe you just don't know how to use the interface. Maybe it's telling you something else. Maybe you don't understand the metrics it's telling you. Yeah, it could be lying, but then you can try and look at it from the bright side. I don't usually do that. I'm not usually optimistic. I'm just pointing out that you can be, but I, I'm not. I, I'm mostly pessimistic in things. Especially in personal like achievements and goals. I try to be pessimistic in those because I feel like that's where it counts most, if you're pessimistic or optimistic. For others, I'm an optimist. Because I just want people to generally be happy and... Ow. That was terrible. And being a pessimist towards or with other people, that's not going to make them happy. Very few would get any happiness from that. Being an optimist, I do it publicly just to make others feel better. But personally, I'm very much a pessimist. And especially for things that are my own. Let's say I do some sort of accomplishment. Let's say I get... Uh, let's say I do a test. Okay, I do some sort of test for, like, school or something. And then, this is a personal thing, so I'm going to think of it as I would a personal thing. So I'm going to think on it as a pessimist instead of an optimist. So I'm going to think that I'm going to get a low score, that I'm going to have to do it again. Because then, there's two options, usually. That I'm wrong... And I did good, which is a good thing to be wrong in that case. Or, I'm right, and I was fully prepared for it. It's logical to be pessimistic, in my own opinion. But even then, I'm an optimist for other people, because that makes them happy. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. Mainly because I'm not named Debbie or Downer. Damn, okay, that's the end of that, and I am a long way away from home. I can't teleport there, can you? Yeah, no. I don't have cheats on, so I can't teleport. Oh, my goodness. That's going to take a very long time, not nice. Well, I hope you like walking and running and jumping, because that's going to be content for a bit. I mean, I can fill in the silence, that's about it. I say, as I continue to say nothing. I'm, I'm great at this, you know, it's absolutely amazing. I, great streamer, awesome streamer. When you stream, do you usually, like, do you use your mic, do you use your voice, or do you not talk or use chat or something else? What's your main method of, like, communication? If you don't mind me asking, you, of course, have the option to not reply. You talk, okay, yeah, that's true. I do find it more personal and easier. You're not able to get almost any proper... You're not able to use your voice at all in text. You just have to rely that other people get you 
it's very hard to do through text, through messaging, through just through written words. You can use inflections and it can be louder or quieter or deeper or higher. And you can use that to emphasize or I don't know, you can just really use that to advantage. That's why I like talking. I don't always talk. There are times, usually on the weekends, I'd say Friday through Sunday, that I don't talk if I stream. Because usually uh, my siblings, old siblings, not... Yeah, older siblings come over. And then uh, I don't want to disturb them and have them accidentally walk in on me streaming. Not because I don't want them to know, but because, oh, I'm so, so sorry, uh, but because, I don't know, I feel like they don't want to be a part of that business, it's just not their thing. So I turn off the mic and I just talk using uh, the, this, that's what I used to talk like that. But I really do like using my microphone and my voice. Because that's who I am. I don't think I've even been going the right way. Got that. What do you usually stream? I know some people just do talking streams. But do you play anything in the meanwhile? Or watch anything? not yeah what indie games mainly like any that you would certainly recommend just for playing also for streaming but you know for playing So yeah, that sounds like an indie game. Purgatory. Okay, it's cat and hell. I'm gathering that much. Because her. Oh yeah. What genre? I imagine it's maybe a roguelike, maybe a platformer. Something like that. Probably not some sort of like visual novel thing. Then again, it's fun to guess. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Yeah. Oh no, that's completely fine. You don't have to check. Like, if you know it off the top of your head. You don't gotta check it all, man. They died right on the treasure, didn't they? Wow. I almost feel bad. God damn. They died. <laughs> I think they're terrible pirates. I think they missed. Oh, I know, Largo, I see now. Oh, yes, Herba. Yes. Yeah. 
Hades die. Yeah, I figured that much. They... I think they were just trying to get the treasure and then... Got on land. Oops. Two boats, in fact. Unless it's one boat, but that would be an ugly boat. And I don't think even pirates are that stupid. Half birch, half like spruce. I don't think anyone would make a single boat like that. So two boats were hunting for that one piece of treasure. Missed, crashed ashore, and died. Two boats on top of each other. Perfectly on top of each other. Oh, this is pillager stuff. Oh shit, 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 shit. It is, and it's not that nice, but I, I think it's worth It's immediately worth it. I like it. Yeah, it's just fine. It's <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it's fine. You know, I, I'm not complaining. No, sorry. Oh, yeah, that's fine with me. Uh. Who's the interior decorator? God damn. They is not that good at this. Ooh, ooh. I mean, it's an interesting choice, don't get me wrong. But it's like... I just... Oh, hey, buddy. We got you into this mess. You just can't beat it. Oh, up there. Up there, you say? Pot. Magic McGee. Okay. I can make sneakers. Uh, God. This is an interesting decoration choice. Like, wow. Who decided this? Oh, I should probably get out of here. I mean, I've gotten everything, right? There's no way there's more. So... I mean, hey, me neither, but, uh... Hey, to each their own. I'm out. Bye bye Oh, yes! Oh, baby! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Celebration! Oh, no. Oh, no. Everything's gone. Everything is gone. Everything. Oh, no! That's the lag horn. That's the horn of Jurgen Lagcaller. Oh no. Oh no. Never use that again. Never. Oh, this guy just wants to chase me down, does he? Yeah, this horn right here, Ponder, yeah, that's that's not a good horn. We're not gonna do that again. I mean, yeah, it, it does make the best sound. I agree with that, but it's the horn of lag. Never mind, I think it was one time. What's this one again? I don't remember. Oh, it's that one with the little fucking tooth at the end. I feel like that could have been super fun if they didn't add that little fucking dookie sound at the end. Like, it was so good, and then they just had to rip one. Why? 
Why would they do that? Why? Come on. It was so good. It was perfect. Down to the very last detail. God. This is definitely going to the totem. Entire religion time. Say Gotta make sure you don't use it too much though. That's the problem. That's the problem with everything good. If you use something, if you have something good too much, it's not good anymore. That's why spoiled people are always of the rich people. That, no, that's why... That's why you can never get happiness, basically. Because... You do thing A. Let's say you do this thing, A. And you do A because it makes you happy. But if you do A too much, then you get used to doing it. You get used to doing A, you get used to being happy because of A, you get used to being that happy. But then it starts to become the new normal. And normal isn't happy. So you want to do something else that makes you happy. But now you can't stop doing A because that makes you happy. So you have to do A and B. And you have to do A and B because B makes you happy. A just makes it normal. That goes on and on. But if you do those things in a moderate amount, then it still is new and it makes you happy. And it doesn't change what the normal is. If I just tooted this goat horn, Every time the cooldown was down, not gonna be fun. But if I if I save it for every now and then, it's gonna be fun. Wow, this is a long stream, one of the longer ones I've done. And you know, basically the only thing keeping me here is you, because like I have an audience, I have an audience that's engaged in some modicum amount. I'm gonna stay here. I can feel my voice. My throat getting hurty, itchy. Like, uh, warm. Stings. But it's, uh, I'm used to it because I talk to myself so much. And not just in my mind, I talk to myself out loud. And to imaginary beings out loud. So. Losing my voice or feeling the pain of just constantly talking. I'm used to it. It's not that new to me anymore, so... Oh, fuck. I can't look. I hate this. Okay, we're out. Oh, I hated that. Oh, I'm getting shivers over my spine. Ugh. Oh, no, we're on an island. Why did I do this to myself? Oh. Okay. As soon as we hit the water, I'm closing my eyes. Phobia. It's fucking terrible that I can't even play Minecraft normally. Like legit, that that made me shiver and scared. That being in there. And sometimes just looking at it. It it, it generates fear. Legit fear. I don't like it. It's not nice. I absolutely hated Subnautica. Jack saw Jacksepticeye, I watched him play it as much as I could muster in myself. I could not watch that. Like, it seems like a fun game. Ne never going to play it. Because 
Holy hell, is that terrifying. I own a VR headset, virtual reality, uh, it's the Oculus MetaQuest 2. One of the newer models, but they have the Quest 3 and stuff like that. But it's a VR headset. And on it, I play, I've played, uh, Assassin's Creed Nexus, which is just an Assassin's Creed game, but VR. And it's fun, it really is fun. You get to be an assassin. You get to be Ezio Auditore, you get to be Connor Hemingway, whatever his name is, and Cassandra from like Greek times or Roman. Both at the same time. But one of the levels, one of the missions you do as Connor is you're on a boat in the middle of the sea and you have to climb around the boat to not get seen by the inhabitants of said boat. And I fell off so many times, and I hated it so many times, being in realistic water. I'm feeling the shivers right now, uh, but I hated that so much. That was absolutely terrifying. Just falling into the water, having to paddle my way out. I... Not the nice. I know it has absolutely nothing to do with anything that I'm doing here, or seeing, or anything, but I just feel like it has to be said. It is fucked on so many levels. Like, I could stare down a pit to hell, but I could not look at, like, like, I could not go on a ship in the middle of the sea. Like, even if I could see the coastline from a good bit away, I could not be there. Let alone underwater. Like, I can swim, I can go for a swim and in actual bodies of water. But on the shore, I am not going any farther out than I need to. It is. It's not nice even thinking about it. Get those like uh, cold shivers, goosebumps. Because that's just how just frightened I am. Horn of comfort. May it bring peace to the land around us. May it bring great fortune to our harvests. May it appease the gods of copper. Okay, back to the house we go. Just give my voice a little rest. I do hope I'm not boring you in any way, because I finally have an audience, a live audience, and I can change my content live, so I don't know. If you prefer to see something else, then do let know, and see if I can accommodate. YOLO. Crap. Ooh. Oh, we. You know what? I'm gonna bet money that as soon as I go back there, not a single child will be ready from those two bastard villagers. No one. Not even the smallest little pipsqueak. I swear they've miscarried like a dozen times. Oh, she. 
It don't matter, it's no important, it's about Henry. You got any children? I don't see any. I don't see a single child. I just I just can't deal with these guys like I know I probably should stay near them it's probably like something that affects them but at the same time you got so much time over here can you for the love of God have a child you have so many carrots everyone knows all you need for children is Carrots and soil. I feel like the more monitors I have, the more monitors I want. Because I used to have one, now I have two. And it's awesome, I can multitask. I can have OBS open and talk to you and see what you're saying while playing my game. But there's no way for me to see my viewers or how the stream is doing on Twitch itself. I have no way of watching any sort of tutorials at the same time. So whatever happens, happens. I can't change anything about it. I can't see that, so a third monitor would help with that. I'm sure there's a need for a fourth and fifth monitor that I can conjure up, but the base idea is, you know, you always need for more. Never enough of anything. But, you know, I do feel like I have enough. I think one monitor is already good. But two monitors, that's, that's amazing. Just having two monitors is awesome. Awesome Lebosum. Allow us to pray to thee. Allow us to make song in your name. To bow down to thee. Yield us with great harvest and fertility, great one. Give us the yield of a thousand. May this horn be forever your core. What do you think? Is that religious enough? Do you need to go more crazy? I probably need to go more crazy. I don't like these pads at all. I could probably make a farm here. Maybe I could load this up. some thinking. I could probably cut off that section, lower it to that level. Let's cut off that section, get rid of those, put them on lower ground over there. Get those cows, bring them over there too. Then I'd have a larger farm and more organized. Something like over here. But first I gotta fill in some patches. Ooh, some dirt. Wacky wacky, let's play it. Yay. Oh yeah, I gotta put this up. I started like covering that hole maybe one or two streams ago. But just ran out of dirt. Got dirt, a whole lot of dirt. Never did anything with it. You know, it's nice to have, like, an actual talking to you. That's awesome. For one stream, at least. Because I know the probability of anybody sticking around. Even you, like, you have been super nice. You've been nice to talk to, fun to talk to. You've given, well, you've given an input, you've given advice. I feel like you're all around, 
been really nice and helpful and beneficial for me, but I know that the probability of ever seeing you again on a stream is it's not gonna happen really. At least from my experience with like sorts of promises, I guess. I'm never able to go back and watch. No matter what I promise, no matter how good the content is, I just don't go back. But I've been sort of guilty about it. But I just want to say that you don't need to feel bad about it at all when it happens because it's completely normal. And I've done it too. This area, then I gotta cut off a little extra tip wise, and then I can start probably filling in. Actually, what am I doing? I'm doing it so inefficiently. What I should do, first of all, is get to the I hate paths. At least for like me personally, just get in the way so much. And see how we go. Like if I could unpath blocks, that would be great. But I don't think you can. Small tunnel. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. God, this is so efficient. I absolutely love it. I have to be ultimate mod. It makes things so easy. But not unfairly. I'm gonna get so much iron when I'm done with this, if I'm done with this. Because this is gonna take a long time, and I am near this place. I'm loading the chunks by being here, which means the farm is gonna be on, which means I'm gonna be constantly generating iron, which means I'm gonna get rich. So rich. In the sense that I'm gonna have a lot. Without the proper villagers, a uh, ham, I'm not gonna be able to turn that iron into any. Shut up! I'm not gonna be able to turn the iron into any actual riches in terms of animals or something. Yeah, I can start. Well, nice no, and not start. I can do, I do this. Yes, very good, very good, very good, very good my friend, very good. Yeah. 
Hurt, but that is fine. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna cut off. Maybe I'll take one more. Just one more little chunky chunky. Okay, th I think that's good. That's good. Yes, and then I can start cutting from here. Cobblestone is going to be annoying, but it will be worth it. What the hell was that, my friend? I don't know. Got completely near me, and I don't like it. for your card but I still love your card little kitty cuttings I love your kitty cuttings please don't leave kitty cuttings I want friendings I see no I have friendings friendings in twitch in the hell I I feel like a miner in the in the sense that I'm a worker miner back in the olden days where they sing songs together just mining away and singing Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Hey buddy, hey dog, hey dog, hey blood, hey dog, hey 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 No, I fucked up the you. Sustramus dat silma Voi minus da me ai ci ai ci ai ci ai vele me mezza venna dove me ai ci ai ci ai ci ai vele me mezza venna desla se A few hiccups, but I sang the song properly. If I had actual instruments, they would sound even better. Because I wouldn't just be on myself. But I hope that little musical number was enjoyable. terrible if you were talking this entire time and I didn't know because my internet was off for some reason. I'm just noticing that it could be like that. The Wi-Fi here is terrible at times. We have constant blackouts, power outages, something like that. Just real quick shut offs. So in advance, if you're still here, I have no idea. Uh, if I disappear randomly, like without saying bye, without saying what's happening, the power probably just like flickered and went out. But I will be back as soon as I can. Like afterwards. Okay, almost done. I just want to get rid of the cobblestone here so I can use vein miner. To get rid of the monster. One second, wait. If I do. Oh, it totally works. I can just do this. Awesome. That is so much faster! Oh my god! Look how much I cleared out! God, I should have been doing this from the beginning! God, I have been so slow! Then I could have been so fast! much I've gotten done already. This is an impressive amount of dirt. I just need to make sure I don't make it too low, because if I do, the golems will start spawning, or I don't want them to. Oh, there we go. 
pigs. And these two pieces of dirt, and that's it. Now I just... Hello, Kato, Kattings, little parentings, I love you. Now I just need to... What? Infinite durability. There we go, I was waiting for that. Okay, okay. Oh my god, I have so much. I have so much dirt. Wow, a dirt chest. An entire chest dedicated to dirt. Holy goodness. Not believe it. Not believe it. Not believe it. I need to eat. I need to eat. Axel the Baxel. And now I can start finishing these. Yes. Ba da bing ba da boom. Ba da bing ba da boom. Ba da bing ba da boom. And done so is the but look how much more space I got. So much more. Now I just want to get like the I don't know, I want like I wanna get rid of the quick stone layer there. Replace it with dirt so it looks better. But later. But this is an impressive area to have level. This entire area here is level. I could probably expand like this a little more. Oh yeah, I should check on my crops and such. Let's see how much iron I get. Because you saw how little time I really took there. Let's see how much you get. Oh baby! Oh boy! God damn! And we're coming right in. Lava farm in case I need to smelt a lot of things, by the way. I live with my mistakes. And my consequences. And my guilt. Okay, okay, very cool, my friend. Very cool. Not very cool. I think he's gone. I don't know, I can try checking that.
By the way, if anyone's still here, maybe XP dot. I think uh, stream end now. I'm starting to feel tired. But stream about next time tomorrow.